Lake Okeechobee stop number one. Um, excited to bring you guys some footage that I've really never done before. I've never had two GoPros in the boat filming all my fish catches and everything that happens during the day. So it's going to be pretty exciting to, to see what happens and then, you know, roll all this footage together at the end of the day and show you guys kind of what happened. Whether I catch them or not, you know, the stuff's going to be coming to you guys and the good and the bad and losing fish and this and that. Um, I try and keep myself under control while I'm out there, but for this year, I mean, I want to, obviously I want to do as good as I did last year, but I don't know. I, I told myself going into it, I want to do half as good as what I did last year. And what I meant by that was make the classic, um, just stay up in the points and just cash some checks is really my goal. I don't want to go too crazy right away and, you know, think about winning anger of the year or anything like that. Uh, obviously that's the ultimate goal, but at the end of the day, you have to have an absolutely perfect season to do that. And it starts with today. Like I can't do bad today. I can't do bad tomorrow. If I do bad the first two days, I'm gone. I mean, it's the top 50 and they cut it from there. And, you know, if I'm not in that cut, then I'm headed up to Lake Seminole for stop number two, which you guys will be seeing that as well. Um, right after this uh, Okeechobee series, so excited to get out there and everybody's putting in. We got a nice day, nice wind. Patty Schlopper's rigging up his gear next to me here. <laughs> He's got 25 rods out. <laughs> yeah, do you need some? Yeah. Just straight white. Yeah. I've been giving you the worst to me. Cause I can tell you what thirst to be. Uh, look how the stars got your worship in. You wanna slack, go to work, baby, work, baby, uh, on the sea, uh, and it adjusts like it's in your dreams, uh, don't stop till it's head to feet, uh, you wanna slack, go to work, baby, work, baby, uh, damn it, boy, I'm tired and nice, when I'm talking, better look in my eyes, you ain't a saint, you ain't nothing to Christ, stop pretending that you don't want more. He swirled on it. I thought it was a lot bigger. I know. I thought it was like a four pounder. Yeah. Yeah, we'll 
will get one eventually. Nice to see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, baby, stay hooked up. Stay hooked up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on. I knew you were gonna get a giant deal right through that. It, it, you just setting it up, man. You can just, you felt it, man. Just, yeah, good job, Come bro. on, baby. Good job, man. Mm. Got a nice white belly on her. All right, man. Oh, that has been freaking long. Uh, that was long overdue, man. Yeah. yeah she just had the back hook in her too. Six, Six even. Yep. Good job, bro. I saw that back hook, man. I saw the whole bait, and I'm like, it's a goner. <laughs> meant to be, man. It's meant to be. Ooh, good job, man. and an ounce, he moves into second place and proves there is no more, there's no sophomore curse when it comes to Jay Shakurik delivering once again on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Sitting in second place, 
the Site One Bassmaster Elite. And uh, Jay, great start to things. You gotta be happy with that? Definitely happy with that after the practice I had. I know everybody said this place is gonna turn on fire when the weather got good, and sure enough, I'm looking back there, and uh, there's definitely some fish in store for you guys later this way. And looking forward to seeing them, and looking forward to seeing you all season long. Today I got two McChickens and a cheeseburger. Um, it sounds like a lot, but they're not that big, and it's pretty cheap. Like, I got three burgers for like $5. Um, got some sauce, buffalo and ranch, water. Is it a lot of food, Joe? Really? Yeah. Uh, below average for him. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It'll come out in the morning. <laughs> it always does. He's on a time schedule. Clockwork. <laughs> It's like five for every morning. 50 minute drive back to the house. Rig up a couple rods. I only used like three rods today, so. It's about all I got to rig up and get some sleep. Ready to hit it on day number two. Hopefully catch the same thing I caught yesterday. And uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Day number two, Lake Okeechobee, 18 pounds in an ounce yesterday. Need that again. Uh, will it happen today? I don't know. I got lucky and I caught a, I caught a six pounder on a prop bait right in the top of the head. He came up and swiped at it. I'm like, oh my God, it's a giant, it's a giant. I fought it all the way around the boat for like two minutes and Got it to this. I saw the bait was way out of its mouth the whole time and came up and grabbed it and got her. It was a, it was a miracle catch, really. I really didn't think I was going to land that fish. And then about an hour later, I caught a four and a half pounder. Uh, that one had it good. I wasn't going to lose that one. So those two bites kind of kind of anchored my 18 pound bag. So, you know, going into the day, I need two more big bites like that. Maybe one bigger. I don't know. We'll see. The area I'm in, I got no boat traffic in there which for Lake Okeechobee, I feel like it's pretty rare. This is my first time here. Um, and that area I found maybe is a little bit sneaky, but I don't know uh, if it's a top 10 area. I know I could probably obviously make a cut in that area. So that's what we're shooting for today. You know, it looks like by the looks of things, you're gonna need 30 pounds for two days to make the cut. So, you know, looking at it, I'm gonna need 12 pounds today to get inside that cut. And, uh, you know, that's my goal. And if I catch some big ones, then you know, it'll fall how it'll fall, but I'm excited to get out there and the conditions are gonna be perfect. I got no marshal riding with me today, so I'm trying to keep up on the bass track, but you guys will see all the fish catches uh, at the end of the day, so. Letting you go, I was just letting you know I know the weather is cold, but you on your own I ain't no regular Joe, you should've left me alone I'm in the zone, I'm where the predators roam We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne This ain't no regular poem, this ain't that regular tone, no Do you follow me, baby? Can you see what I have? Do you like what you see? Do I follow your path? I don't know if I like you, I just know that you're bad Dude, you driving me crazy
I like you. I just know that you bad. Do you like what you see? Do I follow the path? I don't know if I like you. I just know that you bad. Yeah. 
slides into 21st place, and he's going to be part of our top 50 fishing on semi-final Saturday. Great tournament, sitting in 21st place. You know you're going tomorrow. Yeah, I'll take it. I feel like I'm in a, this is like a smallmouth tournament, but I'm on the other end of the spectrum now. All these ginormous bags, but I'm in the 18 pound class. I got to step it up tomorrow, I think. Go do it, and clearly they are out there. You have fun out there? Oh yeah, is it, it's fun, yeah, yeah, I'm catching a lot. I haven't been able to watch much, much live with being out there. Just can't so. seem to get, uh, I'm stuck on like three to four pounders, or three to two and a half to three and a half pounders. Right. I, I can catch those. Right. But, oh well. Yeah. That's what it is. Okeechobee secrets. These are my two weapons for tomorrow. A blue and a gold. All right, so we wrapped up day number two. I almost caught what I had yesterday, almost 18 pounds, so I'm really happy about that, especially after I've said it multiple times, the practice I had was absolutely awful. Um, I had to adjust a little bit today and pulled out this little hybrid hunter and uh, caught the absolute crap out of him. I probably caught 40 keepers today, but uh, just never could get around those, you know, five to eight pound fish, so hopefully tomorrow, but for now, I'm going to enjoy this. Enjoy the 50 cut, and tomorrow, you never know. Could have 25, or hopefully I just catch what I caught today and kind of stay where I'm at and, and keep the points. So looking forward to tomorrow, and uh, you guys have probably seen, or you're going to see, a lot of these fish catches, which some of them are pretty good. The first day I had a top water bite, <laughs> and... Today we had a lot of good cranking bites. They're eating it pretty good, so looking forward to tomorrow. Going into today, obviously I'm in 27, so mentally I'm thinking Compared to like when I, when I was in the lead at the St. Lawrence, I was thinking I needed to catch this mega bag, you know, stay on the spot side fish. When you're in 27th, it's a little bit different situation when everybody's catching all these big fish. Um, you know, I'm just going going out just fishing. I ain't I ain't I don't have a specific thing I need to be doing. I don't have a specific area I need to be fishing. Um, I'm just kind of going out there and just letting the conditions tell me what to do and just kind of playing it by ear all day. Uh, no preconceived notions, you know, this is only my whatever time, 10th time on the lake maybe, ninth time, so uh, I don't have all these things in the back of my head that are telling me what to do. So I'm kind of just going out and just fishing free and uh, that's kind of my mental mindset, you know, going into it in 27th compared to uh, going out leading the tournament.
is the reigning Elite Series Rookie of the Year, the all-time smallmouth bass winning weight record, Jay Shakurik. 35 pounds and 12 ounces to start the day. He's got five fish to add to that here today. Looking for 18.3 to get in the cut. 15.15, a little short of the cut, but with 51 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 15th place. And Jay Shakurik on his sophomore season starts off right where he left off. Another good finish on the Bassmaster Elite Series. 51 pounds, 11 ounces. You move into 15th place, and man... Pretty good finish here in Florida. Yeah, I'm really happy with it, especially after the practice I had. But wow, this crowd, holy cow, you guys really showed out in Okeechobee. This is pretty unexpected. Uh, I want to thank everybody watching me at home, you know, this whole week. I haven't said it yet. You know, I'm sure everybody's been watching. They've been watching the bass track and doing everything. Uh, I put it in yesterday when I had no Marshall. So, and also I want to thank, you know, all my sponsors. It's, it's a long haul down from Wisconsin and, you know, a lot of you guys might not know, but at home right now, it's like eight degrees. So this is like heaven for me, even though I only caught, you know, 15 some pounds of bass. Uh, this is great. You, you didn't have to shovel anything today. Yeah, exactly. So it's good day. Yeah, really good day. Yeah. Excellent. Look forward to seeing the next one. So wrapping up the Okeechobee tournament, uh, a lot better than I expected it was going to be. I mean, to go into practice and finish up practice basically thinking, am I going to catch a limit in the tournament to ultimately making the top 20 and finishing, I think I finished in 18th or 17th place it was, um, extremely happy with that finish. I mean, some of my fish catches were a little bit lucky and then some of my fish catches were, um, you know, I started to dial it in every day. I did something different every day of the tournament, which you guys will see in the footage. Uh, you know, the first day I threw a topwater prop bait. The second day I cranked a hybrid hunter offshore on brush piles, uh, which was something that was completely unexpected. I didn't even think existed on Okeechobee. And then on day three, we had a little cold front that came through and uh, I ended up flipping. I ended up going up to the bank. The fish had moved up a little bit tighter um, just because of all the wind we had and stuff on day three. And, you know, I did lose one good fish on that third day that maybe would have put me in the top 10, but, uh, you know, it would have been really close anyways, and I probably wouldn't have made it with that fish, but I'm just extremely happy with the finish I had. And now we're at Lake Seminole for stop number two, which is the following week right after. So we're jumping right into this tournament. And, uh, you know, the weather's setting up really good for this, so it's hoping to be a good derby and uh, excited to get after it again right away the following week.